stuff. If you are a fan of the Cartoon Network and Steven Universe and more, guess what? We have official Cartoon Network stickers are yeah, here. Yay! And they're here. And it's amazing. There's like 30 stickers you yeah. get or some ridiculous number with all sorts of characters from Steven Universe as well as Cartoon Network. So they if you like Power exactly Girls. Exactly. On a circuit playground. We did that gems. on purpose. <laughs> You've got all these characters, JoJo's, everything, pandas. Um, and yeah, you get all the stickers, so you get to choose, and of course you don't have to just put them on your circuit playground, although they fit perfectly on there. You can put them on anything you like. Yeah. So pick them up, they look cool. We got this really nice matte um, covering that makes the colors look good and uh, hides any bubbles when you apply it, because we want to yep. make sure that you had a good experience. Um, so check it out, and yeah, you get all of these stickers. So, Next up. Lots of stickers. Next up. If you have a monster mask and you're like, well, I want to protect my eyeballs, uh, the TFT displays, by um, attaching lenses onto them, which is what we recommend, um, we have the hardware kit now. So the hardware kit is um, the two plastic pieces. And I'll show them off. And they're barely visible because they're clear, but they're little plastic pieces. We even have little matching um, spines, I guess. Um, uh, and they attach, they come with hardware for attaching it. And as you see, the, the lens gets, has a lip in it. So it's uh, the display and then the lip of the uh, glass or plastic lens and then the plastic. And then um, we have screws that fit it together and they're the perfect length. So that's nice. Um, and then you get two pieces and we recommend it. First off, it makes the eyes look, I think, a little bit better um, because they pop out a little bit more. And also it protects the displays because the displays are, they're delicate. They're designed to be behind glass. Um, but uh, we're not making phones here, so instead, um, you would put these big ass lenses. And okay. uh, this, in this version, it's pulled apart. We also have an extra piece, it's a bonus piece, it's a little nose centerpiece um, that you get. It, was, it cuts out for free. Yeah. And uh, I'll show it here. Well, you have your goggles if you want to just. You know. Well, no, because I have to show it's It's this piece here because yeah. it fit inside, so we're like, oh, just cut it out because we have to cut out the center, anyways. So this is, if you want to, you can put this in the middle here and then reconnect the two halves. So if you broke it apart and then you're like, oh, I didn't want to do that, you can then reconnect it by bolting this piece in place. So it's a little freebie. Okay, okay. harder kit. Next up, this is coming soon. For all the folks who are like, I really like that machine learning stuff you've been doing because you're making it so easy. It looks like a lot of fun. Can I sign up to get this hat? When is it coming yeah. out? Well, we don't know exactly when it's coming out, but we do have a prototype going and people want to be notified so what we did is we uh, set up a sign-up page so you can be notified when the hat's ready to go. We're still designing it, improving it, yeah. um, but as soon as it's ready, you'll be notified. Okay. And I'll see why we wouldn't release Next it. Next up, this is one of my favorite new products ever. This is the Gizmo. Gizmo! That works with the Circuit Playground Express. If you look really close and you're a fan, you see it's a little bit after midnight. It's also called Gizmo probably see where we're going there yeah well, we didn't want to call it hats or shields <laughs> or feathers we wanted something different so we decided gizmo i don't i don't remember exactly why but we did um so this is a gizmo we already had the proto gizmo we put in a couple weeks ago and that was for a test run so this gizmo adds a display because a lot of people were like well i want to add a display to the circuit playground how do i do that so this gives you a 240 by 240 tft display you'll notice i really like this display it's it's affordable it's durable, it's not too thick, um, it's easy to connect, and it's very colorful and IPS. You also get um, two three-pin Stemma connectors. So in the store we have servos that have these connectors that plug in, or NeoPixel strips. There's also an audio amplifier, so if you connect a speaker, you can have um, a nice audio output. That's great for the Express. And then uh, I'll just show off the, what's neat is that, you know, the, the display is, um, you know, programmed over these pads, but you still get to all the use of all these sensors and stuff. So for example, I've got the A and B buttons, and when I press the A button, it'll display a nice Blinka, and when I do the B button, it'll display a nice Adabot. So you can go back and forth. So it's just a really easy demo you can build with your Circuit Playground and this display, and, and this is just showing bitmaps, but of course you can do little animations and text, and with Circuit Python, it will show the REPL. Um, and you still get all the NeoPixels and the switches and the buttons and the speakers. So you can actually make um, pretty advanced little wearable or uh, portable devices. Yeah. You by can feed it on. electricity after midnight. Don't get it wet. And uh, sunlight, you know, you gotta be careful with sunlight. What I like about these displays is you can see it's IPS. So it looks good 
even from an angle it doesn't have the reversal that low-cost TFT d displays have. And then, yeah, you can um, connect servos or NeoPixels with these plugs to make kind of an all-in-one plug-and-play um, circuit playground project. The only thing I will recommend is because this display is kind of big, has a lot of pixels, this will work best with the Circuit Playground Express and the Blue Fruit because they're pretty fast. Um, the Circuit Playground Classic, you could use it, but it's going to be really slow. It's not going to be a very fast experience, so it would only be yeah. good for some text. Go for the Express. I recommend the Express. Also, okay. there's no audio output on the Classic, so it's another thing. You're not yeah. going to get a good um, bleep. You're not going to get the speaker working with that. All right, next up. Next up, we have the hardware kit for the Trellis 8x8, which was used to be called the Instrument, but then we kind of revised this because the Leonardo was no longer made. So we're like, well, let's make it Feather compatible. So this board has four um, four by four grids, so it's eight by eight total, and each one has a NeoPixel underneath the button. Um, so this demo just shows you, you know, each button can be any one of 24-bit color, um, and you've got the nice squishy buttons as well, and then, um, you want to go to the overhead and I'll show yeah. what you get, or you can show the plastics. So this oh, is I'm just, go there, man. yeah. So this then is we'll just this is the board that the thing you make. So you need to add a battery. You need to get a battery, and there's space in here for a 250 milliamp hour battery. Um, a feather. We recommend the feather M4. That's a really good one. And then, if you want to use the battery, uh, you can add this on-off switch that will turn on off the enable pin. So it's a great way to just like turn off the battery and then you can still charge it over USB. Um, and then the Neo trellises, you use the technique where you do edge soldering to connect them together. And then um, you put together the plastic case. So this, we're gonna have a full kit shortly, but this is just the case. So this, you get only the plastics, uh, which is still pretty valuable and the hardware as well to put it together, which is not shown here because it's a little bit below the image. Yeah. Um, but you get the plastic pieces and then you have to get the elastomers. It has what you need, you need the feathers, the elastomers, and uh, the Neo trellis boards. And then you can build this like pretty sweet 64 grid Neo pixel color board. All right, the star of the show tonight besides the community and the customers and you lady it is this. Three axis. That's what the code comes from. That's where the code comes from. Yeah, so this is another Stemma. Okay, so this is a Stemma board, and this time I even got it connected up to the OLED. So I've got it wired up here. This is the TLV439D uh, triple access magnetometer, suggested by Phil B actually quite a while ago, and I just didn't get to it until now, um, but now I have it. It is a very uh, low cost magnetometer. The deal with this magnetometer is it's not good for detecting earth magnets like the magnet earth like you can't tell which way north is mm. not good at that because it's not very precise um what it is good at is uh detecting a rare earth magnet so for example this magnet here you'll see as i get closer it can detect the x and y will tell me um where this magnet is located so it's really good at high strength magnet detection and it's originally designed for making um the turning this magnet, you put it on a joystick and you basically make a joystick that has no mechanical connections. Because people who, when you have a joystick, eventually it's a potentiometer, eventually it wears out because people use it so much. So it's not durable long-term. So if you want a non-contact potentiometer, this makes a great version. But it can also be used for general purpose, you know, detecting a magnet in XYZ space from a couple inches away. It's not good. Once you get about this far, it's not so good, but you know, close up, a couple inches, a couple centimeters, pretty good. It's uh, I squared C, so it works with uh, CircuitPython and Python. And then I'm just printing out um, the XYZ data over the OLED here. Okay. So that's this week's new product. That's it. Triple axis. All right, let's do the uh, highlights here. Are you ready? Okay. All right, here we go. New, 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 new. Fast new, we finally have in stock the sticker pack, Cartoon Network. All of your favorite characters ready to stick on the back of a Circuit Playground Express or Blue Fruit or anything else you like. We've got the hardware kit for the monster mask. So if you want to attach two lenses to protect your mask displays and also give those eyes a nice blobby look, which is, makes them more orbi orbular, we've got the hardware kit, comes with plastics and uh, screws and send offs and stuff. Got coming soon the Braincraft hat. This is for um, the Raspberry Pi 4. We're starting to do some machine learning projects. 
Uh, it's not quite ready for release yet, but has displays and uh, audio input and NeoPixel control output and all that good stuff. Sign up if you're interested. We'll let you know as soon as we have it ready. Okay. The TFT Gizmo uh, is a uh, all-in-one display plus audio output plus uh, connector for connectors for servos and NeoPixels, and it lets you do. Um, Display output on your Circuit Playground Express by adding a beautiful 240 by 240 display and uh, speaker driver as well. This is the plastics kit for the Neo Trellis 8x8. Um, plug in your favorite feather, grab four Neo Trellis boards and some elastomers, get these plastics put together to make this beautiful 64 button grid with NeoPixel LEDs behind it. And the star of today's show is the TLV. 493D, it's a three axis magnetometer, not good for earth magnetic field sensing, but great for magnet field sensing. So you grab a magnet and it can detect it from a couple inches away and it can tell you the X and Y and Z coordinates so you know where in space that magnet is located. So great for magnetic positioning.